I think um, key to, to uh, the industry and, and particularly in tarmac has been understanding sustainability and understanding um, pre-quarrying and land management before we quarry, during we quarry and of course after it. And with the environmental impact assessments we now do, we understand the land, the habitat and, and crucially we understand what opportunities we can create post-quarrying. So we work with the quarrying industry in a number of ways. We provide you know, targeted um, habitat and management advice on, on some quarries. And the key benefit, I would say, is the fact that Tarmac have essentially presented us with a blank canvas. When they've finished taking out the sand and gravel here, you're left with these quite expansive holes in the ground. Um, and from this, we can essentially build the wetlands up from scratch. Um, we know what the wetland species want, and so we can ensure that these key features are designed into the, into the wetlands that we are creating. In terms of collaborative working, this is clearly one of our flagships. We've got a very good relationship with the RSPB, uh, a super relationship with the community and all the various volunteer organisations uh, that go along with that. The core of the reserve is a large reed bed. Uh, so a lot of the species that we're attracting here are reed bed specialists. Um, so in terms of bird species, there's things like bittern, which are a member of the heron family, very well camouflage, skulk around through the reeds looking for fish and amphibians to eat. Uh, we have bearded tits here. They bred on site for the first time last year. This was the first time bearded tits had been recorded breeding in Nottinghamshire. Obviously, quarrying has impacts on the landscape, and Nature After Minerals programme is there to kind of make the best of those. You know, really, you know, really good quality site restorations have had a massive impact for biodiversity. So in time we're going to end up with an extremely expansive wetland habitat sitting right next to the River Trent which acts as one of, uh, one of the UK's nature highways. So it's really going to be quite, a, quite an incredible project that's only going to be getting bigger and bigger as time goes on.